हेलो एवरी वन सो इट्स बिन लॉन्ग रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो सो यू ऑल वॉन्टेड मी टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ आई एम डूइंग माई सोल्डरिंग वर्क एज आई वॉज टेलिंग यू दैट नॉट मच इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल सो दिस इज अ सिंपल वन आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू फॉर यू पीपल हेयर आई एम यू आई हैव अ टर्कॉइज खबर एंड आई एम टेकिंग द मेजरमेंट्स एंड पुरिंग अप अ कॉपर टेप The copper tape is a simple copper tape that I have bought from eBay. It's no special. It's just you can write for soldering or either for slugs. People use them. And now I'm trying to make sure your cabochon is neat and clean, no oily stuff on it. Otherwise, your tape won't stick. So I'm trying to see. I have. cut it a bit extra in case if i need it but if not i'll cut it again now i'm pressing it firmly on the cabochon to make sure it's been attached after you have attached the tape stick the tape whatever you want to talk take a wooden piece anything that's round and start burnishing the edges so that the tape is firmly attached to the stick to the cabochon it will remove the creases as well if there are any bail it's a copper tape i have it's it was a wire that i i encased in a copper tape again for just my ease so now i'm i'm using a flux this is the one i'm using i'm fluxing it all the way flux is very important in soldering when i started i didn't knew that and had so much issues that almost i always wanted to throw my stuff out as i can't i was not able to make anything so this is a solder wire i use for my normal pendants it's a uh, lead free as i'm not attaching anything to this pendant so i'm using this one in other case if i'm attaching things i use a serial glue one It's a nice solder solder as well. Putting the solder on different spots make it easy when you're trying to cover it. Another thing I want to tell you that I do hold hot things a lot, so that's why it's easy for me to pick up things. Please be careful. It's very hot. You can burn your fingers. This is actually a mer example pendant, so I'm not very much in an issue to do it very beautiful, but I will try my best. So it's now hot for me as well, so I need to hold it with something. So I'm holding it with the pliers. Do the back as well. I really wanted to make this video as to show you and there was so much problems and things to happen during the soldering as my solder is a 100 watt RN it has it don't do not have any adjustable settings so it will remain on 100 throughout so I'm attaching a bail so I need to put up the flux on both the points A lot of people use third hands but I don't know I don't find them so easy But whatever is easy for you you can do that I'm putting a drop of solder on one edge and another one on the other one 
making sure it's the bill has been attached doing on the bag as well so that I'm sure that it's been attached well I do ask get a, ask a lot of time that which copper wire I'm using it's a simple copper wire that's non tarnish and you can buy from electric con electronic shops as well you need a bare copper wire it shouldn't be coated or something you can use a half uh, sorry a sterling silver wire or a silver filled wire they are a bit expensive so for the starters I do recommend they can use the copper wires I did so many fails and so many things in achieving these looks and everything so the things I do are totally learned by myself trying to think what can work what can't work And one thing that I have learned is you need to be slow and sturdy. Just a tip of your solder and iron should touch your project. If you put so much pressure on it or working in the same place for long times, you can't make anything. You need to be fast and with only the tip you need to do. Still I'm learning. So I thought there might be more people who want to learn by like me so a little help if I can do so now I'm putting up these textures the wave life you need to be slowly doing the tip after tip putting a tip and just remove it very fast then putting again tip and removing it very fast this is the key this is the tea tipping tipping and you can see still I'm struggling as well sometimes the heat is too much that the shoulder starts to flow your shoulder shouldn't flow if it do flow, you can't achieve the texture. I'm out of the camera again. I need to buy a new one, I know. So that I can make proper thing. The hair I am achieving again, the textures. It's just the tipping. You can see the waves coming up. Tipping and just removing. Tipping and just moving away. Just pushing it. But for the textures, you need to have a solder. More solder, more beautiful texture. If you don't have less uh, solder, if you have there, you can't achieve any textures. So it's just tipping, tipping, tipping. And if I do get struck uh, fed up or get us do I'm I can feel that I'm struggling I just move away from that spot and do other things with the pendant like smoothing it up or doing other things because I know uh, b before when I started if I got doing the same thing at the same spot I just got angry and stopped doing it and it was like I want to throw everything away so please do these things just move away from that spot if it's not working It's just so just like clay you need to play with it
there we go having some textures putting on some puffs to clean up the edges I then thought of doing some other textures as well dots these are the random dots not the very neatly one this is again a sort of texture you can get or like if you want to have on your pendant I'm a bit struggling with my shoulder at the moment so putting tiny spots it's been fluxed before so please if you want to attach some dots you need to flux it before so putting up tiny dots just for the texture So just cleaning up at the edges now and smoothing the wheels. So it's almost done now. Here it is, it's been polished and clean in with the dishwasher soap. And now I'm going to patina it with this this Nova can black patina. It works nicely. Here I I'm putting on it. As soon as it touches, you can see how it's turning. The more time you leave it, the dark it will get. So. I think it's enough for me at the moment. Just a minute, that's it.